Go ahead up. Morning guys, welcome to today. It's a brand new day, it is Saturday. Our horses are out munching on grass. I don't know if you can see them down there. I think you probably can. Today, Sam and I are out hitting it early. We are gonna go yard tailing. It's something that Sam and I both enjoy. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. It's something that Sam and I both enjoy. We have not done very much of it in the last year and a half because our house is so tiny, we can't have anything in it. Last week, we found a yard sale that was all horse stuff. Hopefully, we'll find another one of those. But anyway, we are headed out to do something just for us today. This morning, it's date day. Everybody needs a date day without the kids. To be honest, we asked the kids if they wanted to come and they said, no, we're sleeping. So yeah, that, that's what happened. Girls stay up really late on Friday and Saturday night and Sophie has been hanging around with her friends. They added a new friend to their group and it's been causing a little bit of issues. So she's been getting into arguments and so she's been dealing with all the stresses of having friends, especially like a group of three, you know, three is a hard group to have. So anyway, she's so mature and she's dealing with all the stresses really well. She's handling it really well, but it's interesting to see her going through all that stuff with friends. And it's really interesting to see that she's not as affected as she could be because she has such a strong base at home. She has such a strong security in herself that no matter what other people do and say, it never really takes away from her own love for herself. If that makes sense. That's basically the reason that I wanted to homeschool. I wanted my kids to grow up knowing how amazing they are, learn to love themselves before they get into situations like dealing with friend stuff that is negative and it seems to really be working. Both of my kids are strong and when they deal with friend drama, they handle it really well. Okay, first yard sale, we are here. In Canada, yard sales just opened like a week ago. Two weeks ago? Not very long ago. In some parts of the world, COVID is skyrocketing again and in our part of the world, it's just coming down. So we have a while until we get back into isolation. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so my first buy of the day is this little caddy. I think it's more for babies, but I thought that Gabby could use it for makeup, to divide her makeup. She has all this makeup now and she has no place to put it. So I'm gonna give it to her if she doesn't like it. Oh yeah, it says baby on it. Uh, I'll give it to Jesse because Jesse's about to have a new baby. Okay, so there was a canoe. Canoe at that yard sale. Uh, I don't vlog at every yard sale because some of them are like so quiet and there's not very many people there. I just look silly. But that's like the biggest pet peeve. And it's this. Like, so there's a sign that says you have to wear a mask. And I'm like, but the law says outside you don't have to wear a mask unless you don't stay six feet apart. So unless there's like so many people. There are no people there, just us. And they're really rude about it. Obviously there have their rules, but the law kind of goes above. It's just weird for me when people take the law into their own hands. But anyway, so I'm going to show you guys what we got. I bought this little bucket of beads. You guys know these beads? Um, I bought them so that when Brooklyn's over, we can do them. I have a big box of them, but I don't know if I sold them or if they're in the basement. Um, and then I bought all these molds for it. Like, there's a bunch of different molds in here. I'll show you. Basically, it's just little patterns and stuff for you to make more bead thingies. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll show you the next time Brooklyn's over and we do it. And then I bought all these baby clothes because who doesn't love buying baby clothes at yard sales? A bunch of onesies, some PJs, some really cute shirts. Like, isn't that so cute? Or maybe it's a dress. Isn't it so cute though? Clearly I bought those for the new baby, the grandbaby that's coming, coming any day, you guys. My love for the chickens has gotten out of control, you guys. <laughs> and now I buy groceries just for the chickens. Like, how stupid is that? Hey, get in, look. I bet you she'd take it right out of my hand. Did you guys see that? Wait, let's see. This other one will. Here, look. Don't bite me. Here, 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 here. Wait, you're such a pig. <laughs> Four eggs every day. The day I come out and get five eggs, I'll be so shook. It's that little black and white barred rock that doesn't lay. She's never laid an egg yet. 
In the past, we used to, I used to be a big juicer, but all that sugar is really hard on my system. And Sam, about these super food, super food smoothie pucks today. Just add liquid and blend. So it looks like this. When you open the package, you pull out a little, a little puck and you put a little bit of juice or water or whatever you're going to do. Gross. And blend it. Yeah, it smells gross. Okay, so Sam and I went out. Sam and I have been shopping this whole day and I hardly vlogged it because there's so many people. Like I'm all cold. these years I've been vlogging. <laughs> Embarrassed vlogging. I don't get embarrassed because I don't really care, but I don't know. It's just awkward, especially with the whole mask situation. We did go to the P.O. box, and I just want to say before the girls open these gifts. Get off! No, it could be something expensive. <laughs> that I suck at buying presents. Like, I suck at, like, there are so many things I'm good at, so many things that I do well. But one thing that I acknowledge that I don't do well is I don't know how to buy presents for people. Like, I literally don't know how. Like, I, I get so wrapped up in it where I, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm not good at it. And there are so many selfless amazing people out there that do things just to make a day just to make life special for us and I just think that that's incredible and so I just want to thank you to all of you guys who have ever sent us a letter a picture a gift whatever it is I just want to say thank you so so okay. we did we Why did get so a couple heavy? of packages so everything in this is mine no so basically there are a couple uh, most of the times people most of the time people send me notes saying hey I'm sending you something so I knew that this was coming Apple gift card? What the heck? Yay! Oh, cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Like, Apple gift cards are so, like, my kids have never, have you had one before? No. Oh, thank you. Who is this for? It's for me, probably, too. This lady, this beautiful lady sent me books. Oh, these are books. Can yeah. I open it? You can open it if you want, but look at that One is for Gabby and one is for Sophie and they're from Lori and so they got Apple gift cards I think I'm gonna get you guys Apple gift cards for Christmas like that's such a genius idea. Do you know what you're gonna buy with it? What can you buy with it? Anything that you can do online you can buy movies you can buy games you can buy music all the music that you like always want to buy like You can just buy one song Oh, that is beautiful. But it's only fifteen dollars. So the thing I really like about this lady is that she has such a strong spiritual sense, and she. I get bubble wrap. Sent me these beautiful books, and I think that is so kind and so <laughs> thankful. I've expressed before how I struggle with my spirituality sometimes, and she thinks that this book will help me, and I believe it. So thank you so much, oh, Lori. I, oh, you got. It. Mom, I called him some making the penguin and a devotional. Thanks. Thank you. Do you know what you're gonna buy? No. Gabby. That has your name on the back. Oh. That's so kind. When Sam saw it, he's like, "I want those for me." <laughs> because you can buy so much stuff. It's like shopping at home oh. on your phone. <laughs> Sophie totally doesn't get the idea. <laughs> She's like, "What do I do? I don't understand how it works." Dad'll set it up on your phone for you. This is like the beginning of probably a horrible situation <laughs> they're gonna get so addicted so whenever I have uh, gift cards I always buy books because that's my passion why yeah. would I buy a book? Yeah. <laughs> Sophie is Sam's daughter why would I ever buy a book I opened it so we enter it on your phone and then you know how sometimes you want to buy something says you have to pay for it yeah. Then you can, it's like a credit card. You can just buy it on your phone. Oh, like a credit card? Yeah. Okay. I still don't get it. <laughs> no, you don't. Gabby gets it though, right? Anyway, thank you so much, Lori. It's so kind of you. I will be looking at these and reading these and enjoying these so much. Thank you so much for all your kindness. This is not the first package that she has sent us before, not the first book that she has sent us before. Debbie's opening the other package for me because even though it's for me, she loves to, they love to open the, the. So this package is from my friend B. Oh, look at Mr. Ollie. <laughs> look. Ollie. Ollie! <laughs> so she sent me this letter. I'm going to read it right now. And she sent me these books, Rory Feek. Do you guys know him? 
He is Once Upon a Farm. He has a YouTube channel and he has a little girl with Down syndrome and it's a really, really good YouTube channel. She got me into his YouTube channel and I watch it all the time. It's really kind of emotional. She's really excited. It's it's a really emotional YouTube channel. I really enjoy his videos. And so she sent me two of his books. Is there another one over there? He has a really spiritual way about him as well. This is how you put it into your phone. It's in. All along, I thought I was giving my kids a great education. Obviously, they have been deprived all this time. This is the other book, if any of you guys are interested. And um, like I said, he has a YouTube channel. Dad, look what I got! And I'm gonna read these two. Thank you so much, B. That's so super kind of you. I love all your handwritten letters and all your cards, all your cards and all your letters, and I appreciate them so much. Thank you for sending me the books, that is amazing. I will pass them on when I'm done reading to reading them to someone else who could use them. Horses obviously think it's supper time. When we come outside, they automatically think it's supper time. Aw, have you started introducing them to outside? No, but they like us. Have they like us? How come yeah. she's crying? Oh, that's that thing. <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. He's purring so much. He screamed? He's on purring. Purring? My cat purrs until you pick her up. Then kiss, like him. kiss him. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Is he going to kiss me? I thought you were going to kiss Sophie. And I was like, oh. He's a kissing cat. Gross. He smells like kitty litter, to be honest. So I took that an the antihistamine or whatever it was for a few days and my ears didn't unplug but my head felt better. I didn't take it at all today and I'm noticing that from my nose all the way up into my head it's it's like heavy, like it's all full of fluid. I, I feel like it's all swollen. Do you guys think my hair loss is related to allergies? The only time this ever happens to me is in the summer. It's probably the same time in the summer too. Maybe July, at the end of July. Hey, handsome. Oh my goodness. Why don't you guys have fly masks on? Yesterday, I cleaned up every single speck of poop in this field. Yesterday. That's how much horses poop. And they're just little horses, too. Isn't that annoying? You're annoying, little Vinny. You're cute, but you're troublesome. Cute. All right, so somebody suggested that we faint in front of the horses and see what our horses do. Like, if our horses truly love us, then they should react right Tina's gonna be the saddest yeah because so when I'm I... gonna care and Finn my Finn's gonna care Finn's gonna be like are you okay store Chino already came up to me and was like oh no are you hurt so should we remove all the other horses and just leave one in the field but let's leave them all oh, can I put the boot on Chino the boot His, uh, I don't think so because he has shoes on one's off oh yeah Really so you want to put one shoe on? Yeah, because it's his bad hook. The one that had the padding on it. So it might heal better if there's no like rock. His feet are at a normal size, so I don't think that his, I don't think it'll cause him problems not to have it on. His feet are flat. But they get flatter if they're long. Alright, let's okay, so I say Gabby should go out there and faint. And then we'll see, we'll go up to the top of the hill. Make a big sound. Don't you push me anywhere, mister. I'm not here for you. Go. So make like a screaming sound when you faint. Say help. Okay, so I don't know how it's gonna work because they think they're getting supper. Let's hide. Sophie, let's hide behind this little thing. You gotta hide because they think they're getting supper. All right, I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know how safe this is. Molly. Okay, so really, what is more important? Love for your owner or food? All right, we came inside to hide because the horses for sure think that they're getting food. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is cheating. And dangerous.
Does she understand the word faint? Bowman! Okay, so clearly she does not know what Here I'm talking about. When you faint, you're supposed to pretend you're dead. No, Why? Because it's dangerous? No. We need them separately though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Separately. Chino! And that's how they get loose. That is how they get loose, right at the gate. See, they're anxious because they think it's supper time. It's hours before supper. Like they should know. They they know time. Alright. We'll try again. I don't know why I have to hold Chino. I love how she faints though. She's pretty good at that. All right, here she goes. She's gonna do it with Storm. I think she should do it with Chino. I don't Chino. know. I think her and Storm are the most connected. Why does Chino get free after she faints? Oh, she is doing it with Chino. Now I get it. Oh. Okay. Chino, you're the man. All right, so what's the plan? Just fall. You're just gonna faint and see what he does? He's probably gonna go to his friends. Don't faint on any rock. Okay. Drum spooked at the water. I'm a much better actress. <laughs> ketchup? Yeah, with my ketchup. You hear me screaming? <laughs> Stay still. It's like, what is wrong with my owner? Watch your hands. Let them step on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too scary for me. Watch, he's a drinking horse. He just jumps over top of you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did it. Oh! He was like, I will kill you. He got her up. I mean, he got her up. All right, let's go try with the ponies. Do you guys think he actually was like feeling her to try and see if she was okay? I think he was. He's such an emotional horse. CPR! Him and Finny are emotional horses. Oh, they need their fly masks. You should go get them. Boop. If I do this to Finn, he jumps 10 foot. There you go, handsome man. You'll be better now. For the five minutes it stays on. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna try it with Willow. Just faint. Lay down on the ground. You have to let go of her lead rope though. Mm -hmm. No, she has to take her lead rope off. Yeah. Just one little pony. What do you think she's gonna do to you? Go walk over there in the doorway and faint. I'm not going outside. All right. We're gonna go there. Okay, go ahead, do it. Slowly. No, 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 just just lay fall down. down. Lay down. Lay down now. No, not on your belly. You gotta be able to see. She was literally like watching. She was literally just standing there. I know, I think she was getting worried. I think she was like waiting. This one's gonna be scary because this, this horse doesn't have the... She's like, yes, the Wicked Witch is dead. Don't get up, see what she does. They all are curious though. <gasps> and she doesn't care about you. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, uh, that is it for today's video. You guys got to see that our horses don't care if we die. They don't. But I really do think that they can tell the urgency of a situation. I think they didn't understand what was happening. I thought that they were more confused. But I think if you were screaming and something really bad was happening, they would come and save you. Sophie was in the field. If you guys haven't seen it, there's a video where Sophie was in the field with our first lease horse and another horse came and kicked Sophie right in the chest and in the chin. And our oh, horse, yeah. she was our lease horse, was afraid of that horse and grabbed Sophie with her bum and moved her to Head. the, no, with her bum, corralled Sophie into the, close up to the front of her to keep her safe. Um, I did see the horses down here for a long time today, clearly trying to escape with a ladder. The boys must have threw this ladder. We need to get this oh, ladder. Yeah, we need to get it out of the field because that's dangerous. Clearly Chino put the ladder inside the girls field and was like, climb out, climb out. Anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow on Sunday. Say goodbye, Gracie. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't you know that you're beautiful?